Grand entrance, right? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so just wanted to take a little uh, time to really just communicate how, how do we get these uh, priority treatments in, in the ground uh, implemented and successful. Um, basically, it boils down to communication. Um, so trying to get people to understand why you're doing it, what's the point of it, getting people to understand from the user perspective of, hey, transit is a viable option, let's get out of the car and use transit, uh, but also making the experience better for the people who are using it today. So trying to ma maximize, the, and, uh, maximize the efficiency and effectiveness for transit priority. So starting point, we got to understand what we're talking about. So uh, base definition is preference treatment uh, along a corridor to improve system performance. So whether it's for light rail, for buses, for general auto, it's still a priority. At some point, someone needs to make a choice on who wins, who gets the time, who gets the uh, mobility through the intersection. Uh, heard earlier today, Vision Zero, the priority is for safety for the most vulnerable user on the street. On some of the other corridors or for some facilities, transit may be that priority. So how do we un make, uh, get to that point? So what is a, tr a preference treatment? I kind of use this uh, analogy with, uh, in the airplane. I actually flew up from Baltimore this morning, standing at the TSA line, seeing the really long line first thing in the morning. How do I get through? There's the TSA pre-check, there's a frequent flyer. I had to wait in line. Good times, good times. But basically it's faster speed, some reliability, some about less stops for uh, enhanced service. Um, it's all about related to service. How do we get the bus or the user, basically the, your passenger, from point A to point B in a, in a very efficient and effective manner? So we break it down. There's really three, three parties uh, at the table, three main stakeholders, your, tra your traffic agency, your transit agency, and the user. Um, so on the left side, you got what do they actually manage? So a traffic agency, it's really the space, uh, your lanes, uh, the, the space for the bus stops. Um, so they're managing the facility. Transit agency, they're managing the buses, the schedule, the route, and the operators. Uh, so actually providing that service. For the user, it's your time. So how long are you willing to take transit to get from point A to point B, but it's also your origin and destination. We heard from Chris about the accessibility. That's a key point. If you're able to get from point A to point B in a reasonable amount of time, you're more likely to use transit if you have to make it competitive. But ultimately, there's some choice. There's got to be a priority of what do they, uh, what's the importance for that agency. You know, great partnerships, a lot of folks are on the same page, but for a lot of areas where uh, priority systems, bus lanes, or even just extra trans service, it's still years away, but how do we get there? Um, for a trans agency, or a traffic agency, you're about thinking about throughput, about minimizing delays. A lot of times, that's the vehicles. Hard to say, but it is. Um, so trying to communicate the PEDs, bikes, transit, how do you get them, elevate their priority in their uh, the, in the policy. For transit, it's all about service. You're providing a service for the customers. Um, challenges about funding and trying to uh, make it equitable and accessible for, uh, for everybody. It's a challenge, but you're providing a service. For the public, it's all the, the benefits or the disbenefits of transit if you're not getting the right service. So traffic and transit agency working together or working towards some kind of preference treatment, helping the user. You kind of wonder, are the transit and traffic agency really working together? Who, who's winning? Um, essentially, they're really help, uh, fighting the, each other to help the, the end user, but who wins? Definitely not the end user. So. Trying to communicate uh, to the various owners and the users for uh, implementing, um, implementing trans systems. One of our uh, project examples here is that in down DC, uh, relatively heavy transit corridor. This is all uh, surface, I guess, bus routes, where 
we're looking at why is there delays, major delays, blood bunching, uh, everyone's saying, well, let's just put more buses out there. At the end of the day, more buses really isn't going to solve your problem. So we're trying to get to the root cause of what's going on on a, on a problem. So um, some challenges about the network, you got overcrowding, you've got, wow, that's really fuzzy. Um, you've got the bike, people putting bikes on the buses, you've got uh, people trying to get um, wheelchair access onto the bus. It's just, there's a lot of sources of delay. So when we're working with the various agencies trying to implement priority treatments, you're trying to figure out what is the root cause, how can you fix it, how can you help it? Maybe it's multiple door boarding, maybe it's adjusting the schedule, maybe it's working with the operators to, to actually stay on schedule. There's no reason for you to come early. Um, but also working with the traffic agency, implementing, updating signal timing, or um, putting in an uh, advanced technology such as trans signal priority. Another thing is communicating what is the priority. Are you trying to prioritize people or are you trying to prioritize vehicles? So an example is a project we're working on on Mount Auburn. We're trying to figure out what is the person throughput on the corridor. What ends up happening is that the bus, the vi the bus vehicles, transit vehicles are really only 2% of the, uh, the users on the corridor, but actually carries almost 50% of the people on that same corridor. It's pretty crazy to think that way, but if you're trying to communicate to the tra traffic agents, or at least the higher ups, um, that really resonates. So the key takeaway is really trying to communicate what are you trying to achieve? What are the issues? Why are you doing this? And really building those relationships and understanding. You're defining your priorities. We always, I've got a four-year-old. Uh, he always says, I want this, I want that. We always come back and say, well, why, why, why? If you can actually respond to a third why, we usually give it to them. Um, but ultimately, again, aligning the, fi the fixes to the issues, getting to the root cause of the issue. Um, it may be a tr the transit agency needs to relook at what their system's doing. Maybe it's the traffic agency, but it's an element of self-awareness self and uh, working with getting that collaboration together. But with that, I end it right at seven minutes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>